Hi, this is a little video demonstrating how to factor polynomials by grouping. And we're algebra, it's an algebra 2 concept. And if you're in K-12, you can find this particular problem on page 189. It's problem number 19. And the directions say, rewrite middle term to factor. So this is similar to example 2, problem B on page 187. So I'm just going to follow along and or solve this problem based on that example, okay? So here's the problem, 6x squared minus x minus 10. So it says, find the product. So the, the, the first thing they tell you to do is say, find the product of the coefficient of the x squared term and the constant. So or the quadratic or the constant. Remember, uh, this is the quadratic term. Negative uh, 11x is the linear term and then uh, negative 10 is the constant. There's no variable associated with it. And then we've got to find the coefficient. So the coefficient is the numerical factor of the term. And so here it's just going to be 6. So it says find the product. Is, product just means multiplication of the coefficient um, of the quadratic and the constant. So that's just going to be 6 times, that's the times uh, negative 10 and that's just equal to negative 60 okay so that's the first thing that we have to do now it says find two factors of negative 60 whose sum is negative 11 the coefficient of x of the x term so let's do that so we just gotta we gotta find um, factors of negative 60 uh, what are we going to have? We're going to have, uh, well, let's just find factors of 60 because we could play with the negative aspect later on. So we could say 1 um, and 60. And so I'm just going to kind of pair them like this. Uh, we're going to have uh, 2 and um, 30. So is it possible to get a negative 11 from a 1 by combining a 1 and a 60? No, you know, you can get 61, you can get 59. Uh, 2 and 30. If you combine these, you, you can get uh, uh, a 28 or a uh, 32 or a negative 28, you know. So let's look at 3 and 20. What's that? Nah, but watch this. What do we got if we have a 4 times 15? Well, we can get to 11 with that. Um, and But what do we need to get to? So we need a negative. The 15 needs to be negative, right? And we have a positive 4 and a negative 15, that's going to give us a negative 11. Okay, wow, good. So we're making progress. Let's take a look at the next oops, thing we have to do. We need to rewrite negative 11x as the sum of negative 15 and 4. Okay. Oh, negative 15x and 4. So that's just, that's just uh, straightforward. So we're going to go um, 6x squared, oh my writing is sloppy, this pen doesn't work too well, minus 15x plus 4x minus 10. Sorry about the sloppy writing, guys. Um, the pen isn't working the way I would like it to work. This is my first time do, using this. Process. So then we um, group pairs of terms. Okay, that's the next step. So we'll say, um, uh, where are we? We're going to say. Um, so what we're looking, what we're doing here is we're taking a look at. We're trying to. We're trying to say, okay, how are we going to be able to? How are we going to be able to group these things so that we can factor out? Well, look at this. If we got a fifteen and a ten, um, we can pull a five out of that, right? And if we group the, the, the 6 and the 4, well, you know, we could probably pull a, a 2 out of that, right? So let's group them. So that's, that's kind of what I'm using to inform me as to how to group them. So I'm going to uh, say 6x squared plus, that's a plus 4x. Let me make that plus a little bit more visible. Um, plus. You know, this is a little tricky here. We're going to say negative 15x minus 10. Okay, so we grouped them. And 
now we factor each group. So we pull out what we can from each group. So from this first group, we can pull out a 2x. So we'll say um, 2x times 3x plus that's a 2. I know it's a horrible 2. <laughs> um, plus a, a negative 5. We're pulling a negative 5 out of there. That's a negative 5. 3x plus 2. So look at this. Now, now we've got a, uh, we've got a, we've got something in common. We've got a 3x plus 2. They're both in common there. So now we can use the distributive property and, uh, and we're pretty much home free. So we can say 2x minus 5 times 3x plus 2. Okay, I hope you found this uh, video helpful, <laughs> even though my handwriting is a bit sloppy.